Today we're going to unbox the Universal Astrocam. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. And today I want to unbox the Universal Astrocam from Estes Industries. Uh, Estes previously came out with a kit called the Astrocam, and one of the cool things about it was the camera that was included in the rocket. The unfortunate thing was they didn't give you any mounting hardware to mount the camera on other rockets, such as, you know, this big flamethrower rocket here from Apogee Components. Um, so they came out with the Universal Astrocam, which is the mounting hardware and the camera, so you can mount it on other rockets other than the Estes Astrocam. So uh, first looking at it, it's in a nice box. It's pretty lightweight, um, four colors, and they got really simple instructions here on the back on how to install the camera. I'm going to open it up here and let's open and find out what's inside. Okay, so you get one bag here with all the parts. Uh, I'm going to open this up. Okay, so all the parts are starting to fall out. Uh, let's start with, uh, this looks like the instruction sheet. And it's two-sided, just one, one sheet of paper, and Estes really illustrates theirs nice. They have, you know, a picture of the items, the uh, camera holder, the HD camera. Um, you have reusable attachment straps and six little rubber bands. And then they have instructions on how to put this on your rocket. Um, also, we have in here, we have the Estes warranty information. So if you have any problems with your camera, you can call Estes up and they'll help you out with it. Uh, okay, so these obviously must be the, the little straps. And I just lost one of the rubber bands already. <laughs> it just rolled off the table. Um, these are kind of slick. Um, I can tell that these are not regular paper. These are a material called Tyvek. And Tyvek is a spun woven, I think it's polyester, um, so little fibers. Um, so it's, it's very strong. You can find Tyvek at the post office because they sell these envelopes. I don't think they sell them. I think they give them away. They're priority mail envelopes. Um, so if you need more straps, you can use this as a pattern and, um, you know, you can have a million straps for nothing. <laughs> uh, then also you get little rubber bands, and I said there's six of them, and one of them already went on the floor. Um, in here is in a bubble wrap. This is tape closed. This is the camera. And they also get instruction sheets for the camera. And it has um, specifications for the camera. So it's a video format AVI, video resolution 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that is an HD camera. It also takes a still picture. And it has a frame rate in video mode of... 30 frames per second, and the battery, once you charge it up, it lasts 40 minutes. And if you use a 100 or 16 gigabyte flash drive um, memory card, you would get 90 minutes of video. So you'd have to charge it a couple of times to use up all the memory in a 16 gigabyte flash drive. And we talked about the camera before when we talked about the Astrocam, so I won't talk too much about that. Um, so you can watch that video, it's a good video. Shows you how to use the camera. And I think it actually has a video of what you footage you get back once you fly the camera. So this is a chrome piece of plastic. 
And this is the camera holder. So the camera, you would take the camera and you would slide it in there like that. Um, so this, to go on the rocket, this is where these straps come in. Uh, and there's little slots here on the side of the holder. And the strap will go in through one of them. And then come out this side. Like that. So that, and then you take your rocket and say you wanted to put it here and the camera is lightweight enough um, that you could probably put it anywhere on the rocket, but um, uh, the camera is going to, you want the camera to look down. So you want it to look this way. So down is this way. And so you would put it on there like that. And then you would take pieces of tape and you want to put it between the fins. And you take a piece of tape, and I got regular strapping tape over here. And then you just tape these down. And that holds the, the camera carrier on there. And then the camera itself would slide in there like this. And then to make sure that the camera stays in, this is where the rubber bands come in. So they just wrap around the outside like that. And it's a little bit wiggly, but it's not too bad. Um, if the camera's not going anywhere. It's going to stay on during the flight. And that shows you, you got to have this the right way so you can see that this is the flamethrower. Um, so that holds the camera on. Um, yeah, it's a good camera. Um, we actually like this camera. Um, so we kind of, you know, when we ran out of our other cameras that we were selling and this became available, we kind of said, hey, this is, this is good enough. We don't need other cameras. Unless, until we could find a better camera than this, um, we would definitely recommend this camera. You know, like as I said, it's an HD camera, so you get really good video. So that is the unboxing of the Universal AstroCam that you can mount onto any rocket. And if you're doing it on a smaller rocket, you could you know, cut the strips if the strips go too far around. Um, and I said, you can get more Tyvek at the post office so you can cut out more strips yourself. <laughs> so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.